real quick here from Mike Miller over at Pacer Group. They're the company that made the brand new wiring harness for the Pursuit as well as the dash panel. I want to take this opportunity to go over with you how the professional boat builders would install their dash panels. Dash panels would come from their lamination department with the holes already pre-marked for them and cut. They'll have the wiring harness already installed that Pacer designed in this case, which is fully labeled with all the functions on each of the individual wires. This is using quality Deutsch product that is plug and play. Lock the connectors in. They can only go in one way. As you can see, if they're not keyed in, they don't mate. So you push them until you hear the click. Once you have all the plugs connected, the panel's ready to tuck the wires in and secure to the boat. There's two methods to doing the panels. One, you can caulk the panel down before you screw it, and one you would not caulk it. Depending on the application, um, such as center consoles, you typically would caulk those panels so that you don't get any water inside the console. Uh, this boat actually has a full fiberglass backer behind the panels, so it's not as much of a concern. The advantage of not caulking the panel is it is easier to remove in the future. This boat's getting ready for its first public debut, so we're getting these panels set, buttoned up for the dash, as well as cabin distribution panels, cabin switch panels, get ready, as well as installing some outlets and that in the galley so it's ready to go for its new owner.